from Sound the Alarm Ministry presents uh, now a word from our sponsor. That's right, we got a theme song. Dr. Judah Christian McAllister, to the music. Sound the trumpet, sound the alarm. Here we go. Pastor Sherry, uh, Evangelist Sherry O. Weathersby, amen, we are Sound the Alarm Ministries. Now, I want to do a check here. Is anyone called in that, that we need to uh, be made known of at this time? Is anyone called in that needs to be made known of at this time besides me? Praise God, amen. Pastor Sherry O. Weathersby here, amen. <laughs> Amen. The reason why I did that, y'all, this is being recorded. We ain't on the same phone, and I wanted to make sure she was on, and Lord have mercy. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Amen. All right, Pastor Sherry, what we need you to do is open up in prayer and get right into what you need to get into, because we know you have another assignment. Praise God. Thank God. Father God, we thank and praise and worship you right now, God. Hallelujah to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. God, we thank you right now for this moment in time. We're excited about you, Father. Excited about this, that tablet, oh God. Hallelujah. Freedom, oh God. Friday. Glory to God, we thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, God, for your blood. We thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for our salvation. Hallelujah. Thank you for the grace of God. Hallelujah. That brought our name will be strengthened in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 
be glorified on this line, Father. No goodness of our own, Father. Speak as only you can, Jesus. Illuminate our minds, eyes, and lighten us to the hope of the calling. In your word, oh God, give us understanding and we will understand. Heal us and we shall be healed. Hallelujah, save us, and we shall be saved. Now let the words of my mouth and the meditation in my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer, and let us not only be a hearer, O oh God, a preacher, a teacher of your word, O oh God, but a doer of your word. For you said the doer of your word is justified in your sight and will be blessed in all of our deeds. In Jesus' name we pray, God. Amen, amen. Thank you. Jesus, praise God, and we thank God once more and again. Praise God from, for, from a word from our sponsors. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. For such a time as this, praise God. Hallelujah. We love him, and we just thank God for him, and, and we just humble, praise God, by this divine work of God, praise God, and the body of Christ for such a time as this. Amen. We're going to get ready to go to work soon, but we just thank God for this. The main work, the main thing, the people, the main thing, the main thing. Amen. Ephesians, praise God, we've been coming out of Ephesians in a series, praise God, we started with, um, we're in chapter 2 of Ephesians, and we're coming out of the Amplified Bible, and we're going to start at the 10. Pre-arranged and made ready for us to live. Now, ain't that powerful? Hallelujah. If anybody say they're not special, Praise God, hallelujah. Think again. When you read, praise God, just that one uh, verse right there is powerful. It's power packed. It has a lot in it. <coughs> praise God. And we want to just remind, be reminded, praise God, so that we don't forget. Jeremiah 1 and 5. It says, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Over here in the 10th verse, it says, for we are God's own handiwork, his workmanship. We are his garden, y'all. Amen. Praise God. And it says, uh, once again, in Jeremiah 1 and 5, as I finished that verse, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you, I knew, and approved of you. Lord have mercy. As my chosen instrument, and before you were born, I separated and set you apart, consecrating you, and I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Amen, amen. Now, we might not be prophets or whatever the case may be, but one thing about it, we were called, praise God, into salvation. The greatest and highest call that anyone could be called into, praise God, is salvation. So, therefore, we don't have to be butting one another for prestige, position, and power, and all this that's going on. And some places in the body of Christ amongst one another may not be everywhere, but I guarantee you what's going on because we've been in this way quite a while and seen many things, experienced many things, done many things. Myself, praise God. I have just thought many things, but the scriptures bear it out, praise God, that before we were in our, in our, in our mother's womb, God knew us. And guess what? We've been approved. So if you don't feel approved, praise God. God approved of you. God accepted you. Um, and us. God has confirmed us. If you don't feel confirmed, God confirmed you. If you don't feel reaffirmed, God affirmed you. Amen. Praise God. To be his chosen instrument. We are in praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. And, 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 and it's a blessing. Praise God. I, I, heard, I had a quote from um, uh, a beautiful a young lady. Praise God, which is uh, Minister Anthony Weathersby's spiritual covenant daughter. Praise God, amen. And she had made a quote on Facebook. It's two things we should remember, praise God, the day we were born. And two things that are important, the day we were born and the day we found out our purpose. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's powerful right there. Hallelujah. Praise God. So we're back to Ephesians 10. Ephesians 2, 10. We are his workmanship. Created. Praise, recreated in Christ, born anew, that we may do those works with God predestined. He predestined it, y'all, so praise God. If nobody know, praise God, what they're supposed to be doing, ask God. Hallelujah. It's already in you. He already planted it. He already spoke it to your spirit. And it is to come to pass at the appointed time. But first, we need to know how to, how to live and walk saved. I mean, hallelujah. Many get saved and they want to run off, praise God, and get into the this, that, or the other, but we need to stay humble before God and be that, that student, be that disciple of Jesus Christ so we can understand who it is that we receive and who we are in him so that we don't go forth and, and, and be um, envious and covetous and jealousy, jealousy and be copycat of others, praise God, because we feel like we're not 
being accepted and we look, it look like somebody else's gifts and talents is being accepted other than ours. No, 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 no. Amen. Praise God. Thank you for me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We didn't have this, a lot of these type of teachings coming forth when I was coming up, but they're coming forth now and God brought me from the way he brought me so that I could be a greater testimony hallelujah, of, of the things that he has done and things that he has settled in my heart and mind, praise God, because I wasn't thinking like what the word is saying many, 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 many moons ago, but nevertheless, we are here now and we understand even the more, praise God, hallelujah, but standing in state, praise God, of our place in God, amen. What great salvation it is that we have. Praise God. I'm going to go over to Philippians. Amen. And it says, the second chapter, 13 verse, not in your own strength, for it is God, once more and again, who is all the while effectually at work in you, energizing and creating you in the power and desire, both to will and to work for what? His good pleasure and satisfaction and delight. Once again, dealing with also Ephesians 2 and 10, it is God. It is God. Hallelujah. It's all God, y'all. And it's all good because what? It's all God. He is the one that is especially at work in you and I, energizing us and creating us Hallelujah, with the power and desire both to will and to work. It is his desire. The steps of a good man, what? Is ordered by the Lord. And he delights in the path, praise God. It doesn't matter who doesn't delight, who doesn't understand you, praise God, or me or whoever, praise God. God understands us. We need to go back to the one who made us. Sometimes we are too, too much before people try to get them to understand Praise God, hallelujah, who we are or what them that what their approval or whatever. No, 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 no. Praise God, it's God that commended for us, not people. Praise God. We honor one another, we love one another. Praise God. But our affirmation and our confirmation, praise God, comes from God. And genuine by those who personally what heard him speak. Amen. This is powerful. Besides this, the fourth verse. Fourth verse says, besides this evidence, it was also established and plainly endorsed by God, who showed his approval of it by signs and wonders and various miraculous manifestations of his power and by imparting what? There we go, the gifts of the Holy Spirit to the believers according what? To his own will. Lord, have mercy. This is so powerful, y'all. To understand, praise God, this great salvation that we have. Only God can do this work in us. Only God, hallelujah, can work in us to will of his good pleasure. Amen. It was God, y'all, that considered us. We didn't consider mm -hmm. ourselves. Mm -hmm. We were born in sin and shaped in iniquity, praise God. While we were yet in our sin, what? Christ died for us, praise God. But he considered us. Isn't that something? He considered me. He considered you. When we didn't eat, when, while we were yet in sin, praise God, hallelujah. So we should not take this great salvation so lightly. It is the power of God, y'all, unto salvation, amen. And salvation is open to everybody. Oh, yes, it is, hallelujah. So whosoever will, let them come so we don't have to treat one another, praise God, with disrespect, praise God, hallelujah. Everybody can be saved, whosoever will, once they hear the call of God and once they hear the invitation, hallelujah, of Jesus, praise God, they can accept him as what? His per their personal savior. And we go on, praise God. Amen to the letter verse. Therefore, remember that at one time, you were Gentiles, heathens in the flesh, called uncircumcision by those who called themselves circumcision, itself a mere mark in the flesh made by what? Human hands, praise God. The Jews here were very pious. The Jews were known as the circumcision, and the Gentiles were known as the uncircumcision, praise God. Hallelujah. Being ceremonially unclean, and they thought themselves, the Jews thought themselves so pure. Praise God. And they didn't even consider, praise God, that the Gentiles could be saved by God's power. God declared both of them, praise God, unclean. Both of these sets of people had what? Spiritual pride. 
Amen. I would say they did. They were both guilty of spiritual pride. The Jews thinking that their faith and their traditions and their rites and ceremonies would, uh, would cause them to be elevated above everybody else, praise God. And of course, the Gentiles, you know, and it's the same way with the church today, the Gentiles.